Hello, I'm Dr David Waterhouse, Senior Curator of Natural History and Geology at Norfolk Museum Service. As part of Strangers Hall's Secret World Summer Programme, I'm going to be talking to you about spiders. Once again, you join me in my own secret world, the shed at the bottom of my garden. And I must let you know that this video does contain close-up pictures of some fine-looking arachnids. Spiders often induce extreme reactions in us humans, and for those that have genuine arachnophobia, it can be a real problem. But this fear is not incurable, and there are many ways of getting to like, or at least tolerate, our eight-legged friends. Spiders famously have eight legs, which is the easiest way to tell them apart from insects, which of course have six. They are in the animal class Arachnida, the arachnids, which includes scorpions, mites, ticks and harvestmen, amongst others. There are several spiders in Britain that we're likely to come across in our homes and gardens, but we're going to concentrate on four of them. The house spider, the daddy long leg spider, the garden spider and the zebra spider. Firstly, the house spider. These are the spiders that scurry past you late at night when you're watching a movie and often get trapped in our baths. Most of the time you don't see them, but in the autumn the males wander off looking for mates and this is when they're most likely to run across the living room floor. There's a few different species in this group, but they generally look similar. Dark brown in colour, with a lighter, often dappled, intricately patterned, tweed-like abdomen, which is the back end of the body. The largest species in this group's leg span can reach up to an impressive 12 centimetres, or 5 inches. But it really is true that they are much more scared of us than we are of them. They almost never bite humans, and on the very rare occasions when they do, it's painless, and their natural defence is to run away and hide. They eat insects that get trapped in their funnel-like webs, and do a great job mopping up all those truly unwanted household pests. Surprisingly, house spiders aren't even native to the UK, and they were probably only introduced a few centuries ago. They're originally from the Mediterranean, which explains why they rarely survive outdoors in the colder climate of Britain, and are much more at home in our homes. The next spider is also an interloper. The daddy long-legged spider was accidentally introduced, probably from warmer areas of Europe. Here in Norfolk and the south of the country, they're especially common but they are slowly spreading and have become much more common in Britain over the last 30 years or so. If you dislike house spiders, then you might like the daddy long leg spider, because as well as eating insects, they also take house spiders as their prey. These tiny bodied spindly creatures can easily take down a spider many times their own size. Moving out into the garden, the unimaginatively named garden spider is probably the most commonly found spider outside your home. They spin beautiful orb webs to catch all sorts of insects, and up close, they're handsome creatures. They can vary greatly in colour and pattern. And the females are excellent mothers, protecting their silky egg sacs until they die in late autumn or early winter. The tiny spiderlings never see their parents as they hatch out the following May. Known as ballooning, they disperse on the wind using silken threads to catch the breeze and whisk them away. My favourite spider is the zebra spider, and if any spider can be described as cute, this is the one. If you don't believe me, just take a look. Like other spiders, they do have eight eyes, but the front two are especially large, giving them a charming, almost cartoon-like appearance. Their tiny black and white bodies make them easy to identify, and they love to hang out in the sun on rocks, walls and trees. They're a type of jumping spider, and for an animal that's only six millimetres long, they can jump an incredible ten centimetres. 
The males even dance to impress the females, moving around, waving their legs in the air. So there you have it. A little glimpse into the secret world of spiders. Next time you see one, try not to be afraid and take some time to study them. Their incredible behaviour, exquisite appearance and even their dance moves might just be worth a closer look.